The Knicks will look to even up their series with the Heat on Monday night down in South Beach after an ugly offensive display in Game 3. So what is the vibe of the fan base right now heading into this big Game 4? Now look, the vibes, they're usually immaculate with my guy CP the franchise. He's the co-host and founder of Knicks Fan TV, but he usually has the pulse of the Knicks fan base. So let's check in with him as he joins me now. CP, I got to ask you, this is a big game. Uh, what's the anxiety level for you right now? Uh, on one to ten, it's about a seven right now, Dex, because this is must win territory with the Knicks down two to one to the Miami Heat. They need a desperate win to bring it back to Madison Square Garden, tied up to get this fan base energized again. But I'll tell you, this Knicks fan base, they don't give up. They don't quit. They are as optimistic as any in sports. They don't leave games early. So the, the Knicks fan base, they, they are cautiously optimistic that they can, you know, split the series in Miami and, and get home tied up at two apiece. All right, so the vibes for the Knicks fan base is cautiously optimistic right now. You've seen a lot of the energy be different on Twitter, other social media spaces, the comments yeah. on your show, we've seen that for sure. I'll ask you this, when you look at game three, there's a lot that went wrong for the Knicks. Um, we didn't get strong performances in terms of the Knicks. We didn't see that from their two best players, Julius Randle and Jalen Brunson. Is it imperative that Randle and Brunson set the tone in game four? No question about it. And it, it starts with their energy and intensity. They have to lead on both ends, especially Julius Randle. Uh, Jalen Brunson is the head of the snake. He is the point guard. And so he has to continue to find his balance between scoring and getting the offense into a rhythm. When you look at Julius Randle's performance, I mean, Julius Randle did not uh, uh, pick up two free throw attempts until the third quarter of the game, Dex. That is just not going to cut it. He has to make himself an aggressor. He has to take it to... Bam Adebayo and the Heat small ball lineup because the Heat, they do not have rim protection there. So Julius Randle has to be aggressive from the jump and defensively, he has to be in tune. There were way too many defensive lapses by Julius Randle in this game. He has to lead on both ends. The Knicks big three of Jalen Brunson, Julius Randle and RJ Barrett combined 16 for 51 from the field. That's just not going to get it done and that's playing right into Eric Spolster's hands who wants to force the Knicks into being a jump shooting team and it's working for him right now. All right, we'll see if the Knicks leaders are aggressive in game four. Now, the other day I was speaking with your co-host, J.D., about the X factors that needed to play well in game three and quite frankly, none of those X factors stepped up. Which yeah. role player or players, CP, need to deliver a big time performance on the road Monday yeah. night? Well, with the Knicks shooting woes, Dex, I mean, the Knicks, the worst three-point shooting team of the remaining teams in the playoffs at 29%. The Knicks with the worst offensive rating right now of the remaining teams. The one guy I have a look at is Quentin Grimes, the birthday boy, Quentin Grimes, who many are looking for a larger role in this offense. If he's going to have that, then he's going to have to deliver, especially from downtown. Additionally, with Emmanuel quickly doubtful for this game, who will emerge off of the bench? I would expect to see Miles McBride coming in to be a defensive disruptor. But offensively, could we see Evan Fournier come in for a couple minutes? Tom Thibodeau said all options are on the table. With the Knicks desperately seeking some offense, I think Thibodeau needs to keep those options open. I would also look for Tibbs. Hopefully, because Eric Spolstra has been adjusting defensively in every game, could Tom Thibodeau opt for a small ball lineup to opt for more spacing? Could we see a Julius Randle, Obi Toppin pairing in the front court to space the floor up a little bit, open up the driving lanes for the Knicks drivers, and maybe knock down some three-point shooting because the Knicks are looking like the New York Bricks in this series so far. It's ugly, man. Yeah, I wonder if we see some adjustments there, including maybe seeing Grimes return to the starting lineup. There's been some talk about that and how that can improve the spacing. Okay, CP, last thing for me. How's it going down here? Is it more doom and gloom, or do the Knicks leave South Beach with a win and return back to the Big Apple with this series tied at two games apiece? I think the Knicks muster up some fight decks. I think they come in with some pride, leave it all out there on the line, and squeak out a victory bringing it back to MSG tied up two and two and the garden faithful will be waiting and have the garden rocking come Wednesday night. All right. That's positive vibes. You hear that there from CP, the vibes sounding immaculate right now. Nice. I know CP nice. said the anxiety level is at seven. That means yeah. close to game time. It could be closer to 10. I know it'll probably be about that CP. That is CP, the franchise, one of the co-hosts of Knicks Fan TV. They do such a fantastic job covering the Knicks and all their analysis. CP, enjoy the game. Keep the anxiety level down. I'll check in on you. Dex, always a pleasure, man. Thanks for having me on. Anytime, man.